you're not going to believe who is here with me today. For the longest time, I saw Lorna Jane across active wear, you know, like in the shops or whatever, unaware that it was an actual real life human person. And Lorna Jane Clarkson is here with me today. I can't wait. This, she is an absolute guru in the fashion industry, in the fitness industry, and we're gonna have a great chat today. So here she is in person. <laughs> Lorna, you've actually brought your own tea. I feel like this is a tea with Jules first. Oh, is it? Yeah. I, mean, I didn't realise that. Yeah, I'm I'm not a control freak. <laughs> but I thought you'd really like this tea. It's what one is of my favourites. It's cacao and chilli. Oh, wow. So it's got a little bit of a spice in it, but a sweetness as well. Cacao and chilli. Yeah. Wow. This is such That's a cute awesome. cup. So you are... You're a living legend, actually. Oh, that makes me feel old. <laughs> Don't call me okay. that. <laughs> um, you're a legend. Thank you. You are a complete and utter legend. I had the pleasure of meeting you a year ago, almost to this day, actually. I was hosting your Active Nation, Nation Day. Day. Yeah. And it the was, awards. And the yeah, awards, yeah. yeah. It was so amazing. And honestly, can I just say on a side note, I finally made the decision to get on the health train and get my budding gear and I went to that day and I just saw all these girls mm. that were just so inspiring doing their thing you were there I met you and I just made a decision that I had to do something community does that you know I'm so that warms my heart and um, you look amazing <laughs> can I say <laughs> but um community does that if you can get like-minded people together that share and are abundant and just want the same thing. It's really powerful, yeah. really powerful. Well, the thing that struck me about you was your warmth and you were so down to earth. And I, and I was blown away by that because honestly, legitimately, I didn't, like when I was younger, I didn't know that Lorna Jane was a person. Mm. And then to actually, when I obviously realized, and then to actually meet the person, I was so I was so relieved and and blown away that you can have such an empire and be so successful but still be so connected to humans mm. and warm and embracing and the fact that that day was all about women and their stories and their kind of journeys to mm. that that point of health and you you were like you're like the rock star <laughs> of the day bringing everyone together it was so beautiful so I appreciate that you are who you are and you really do practice what you preach. Thank you. And, and I consider it an honour. And like those are my favourite days. Like um, when I get to be with my customers and be around that community, I get just as much out of it. It reminds me why I do it. Because I yeah. spend so many of my hours designing active wear and doing mundane business stuff that they're the moments that I live for as well. So yeah. it was your first time, but it's been my probably 120th and yeah. time and I still felt the same energy. It, it, it feeds you for so long afterwards. Yeah, mm. yeah, it was amazing. Mm. Now, take me back. You, you started the brand when you, back when you were a fitness instructor yeah. because you couldn't find good active wear that you yeah, wanted yeah. to wear. I just wanted some decent active wear. Like it's hard to imagine now because there is so much active wear in the market and people are wearing it everywhere. But back in the day, there was just really boring brands. We were wearing leotards and he was me. I was so excited to be an instructor and get up on the stage. And I just felt like the outfits were letting me down. So I just started making my own. I mean, I knew a few, a little bit about sewing from home ec at school. I wasn't, you know, not in a family of sewers. I don't have this big story about my grandmother being a dressmaker or anything like that. Mm -hmm. I just cut up my favorite swimsuit and made some active wear and the people in my class wanted it as well. So I just thought, okay, well, I'll make them some. Didn't charge them. It was just fun. I was so excited. It inspired me and, and made me think, well, maybe I can quit my day job and do yeah. this full time. And then there was another point when we'd opened our first store and a woman came into the store and bought everything in the store. And I thought, well, maybe I can open another store. So it's those moments when you feel like we're talking about the encouragement from your community or the encouragement for other women, that it gives you the fearlessness to actually expand. Like if you had told me in those days when I was teaching classes with my active wear sitting on the side saying, love this, do you want to buy some? You know, if you had told me 
what was going to happen and that I was going to have a global business, I probably would have run for the hills. Like right. I just would never have been able to imagine it or think that I could do what I do today. Mm. But I think when it grows so slowly, you actually learn and develop new skills along the way. So yeah. now I'm just ready for the next big challenge. <laughs> Which is? Um, global. I mean, we've already started, but the fitness industry in Asia is just unbelievable. They're just starting. Right. And it's really exciting. Yeah, so you want to get um, into Asia. Well, we are, but it's growing at 250%. It's wow. crazy. I'm going to have to learn Chinese. <laughs> yes, you are. Yes, I it's am. It's amazing. Because mm. when, like you said, you don't know it's going to become an empire. It's an empire mm. you have. Active wear My mum calls it. <laughs> it is. It absolutely, it is mm. like when you know, I'm, everyone has a Lorna Jane piece of something or other in their wardrobe. Everyone does, no matter if you work out or not. It's true. That's an empire. That is just unbelievable. When did you realise that it was happening? You know what? I still don't think that. Like when you say that to me, I think, yeah, you, you might be right. I just don't think that. I right. And maybe so that's cool. the secret because I, I still think there's so much more to do. And that's a mindset. Like I feel like, you know, there's, there's a point where you think I've got so much more to do and there's new challenges. But it's also like you don't want to fall back or, or lose some of the business that you have as well. So there's always that you have to do better and you have to think of new and you have to keep moving forward. It's just something that that's in you that mm. makes you want to do that. I want to do more for my customers. Active Nation Day was great last year. I want to make it better this year. What's she going to want to do? You know, yeah. so, and I enjoy every moment of it. I mean, there's days when, you know, you have to do hard things at work, like have hard conversations and things mm. like that. And, but everyone has that in their life. Yeah. But majority of the time, even when I'm super stressed and I've got like a list of things to do, usually every Monday morning, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I just have to tell myself, everything you're doing today, Lorna, you love to do. Mm -hmm. So just make a list and tick it off. And at the end of the day, I feel amazing. Yeah. I've still got a long way to go, but I'm so grateful oh for, my for what's happened. I love you that know? you say you've got, you've got such a long way to go when the perception is that you've made it, do you mm. know, like you've arrived. No. But yeah, you're saying that you don't feel that way. No, so I don't. Interesting. Not at all. So Not even just a little bit. I'm grateful because I have this amazing lifestyle and I have an audience that will want to read my books when I have something to say. So I'm grateful for all those things. But the world's such a huge place and there's so many um, people who don't know about Move Nourish Believe or Active Living or how easy it is to be fit and healthy. Yeah. So um, everyone thinks it's hard and they mm -hmm. have to find extra time. And every day I talk to someone about that message and they haven't heard it before. So sometimes I think I'll never be finished. <laughs> right, exactly right. Mm. Well, can you expand on that now? So move, nourish, believe is your motto, I suppose. Mm -hmm. And you really truly live by that. Can you just explain that a little bit further? I started designing activewear because I wanted to change the way people think about working out. I started talking about the way I live my life. My team said, you need to put a name to this. You need to g give it something that people can relate to. And when you're talking about it, they'll know what you're talking about. So I called it active living because it was just about living in an active way. Yeah. And then I wanted to break it down because what I was hearing from people all the time was how hard it is to be fit and healthy. How do you stay fit and healthy and run mm. a business? And it's like, it's so easy, guys. So Move Nourish Believe is just something that you need to think about every day. Mm -hmm. So every morning we talk about thinking about what's my move today, what's my nourish and what's my believe. Mm -hmm. So your move might be walking the dog or it could be a big workout, whatever mm -hmm. you can fit in. Your nourish might be I'm going to drink more water or it could be I'm going to make a new meal plan and I'm going to get serious. It can be different levels of extreme. Mm -hmm. And then your belief could be I'm going to smile more today or I'm going to work on what I really want to do with my life. Just yeah. every day if you make Move Nourish Believe your priority, mm -hmm. in one month, three months, six months, you will have a different life. Yeah. And it's so simple when you it practice is. that. It is, you mm. know. And this new book that you've written called Love You, and I love that title. I think it's so beautiful. It says so many things. And of course, you're talking about love yourself. Mm -hmm. This book is a bit more revealing um, than anything you've ever kind of put out into the world before. Why do you feel like now was the time to reveal some things about yourself? Every one of my books has come about because I've felt the urge. I've never thought, oh, I need to write another book. It's like this, I have something to say. Yeah. And at Lorna Jane, we do a schools program where we go into schools and we talk about Move Nourish Believe and Active Living. And with the young girls, it's more about believing in yourself and loving yourself and being confident and not worrying about social media and all those things. So mm. I'd be sitting in front of 3,000 young girls and I'd be delivering this message and there'd be teachers there and their mums would be there as well. And I would just see how they resonated with this message and mm. how 
just the reaction they had and when they'd come up to me afterwards and I thought to myself that there was something more to say and I really needed to go a little bit further so I thought maybe I need to write about self-confidence and self-love because I really think that how you think and feel about yourself makes such a difference to what happens in your life. Yeah, well it so, all starts there I think. Oh, absolutely. If you don't have that then you make weird decisions mm. about everything else mm. I think. So that's where it started and then as I got writing I just felt like I wanted to talk about the times when I left my self-confidence behind, like when I felt like it was gone. And I'm lucky, I'm a positive person. I talk about positivity being my superpower. It's just the way mm -hmm. that I am. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether I was born like that or whether it was my upbringing, but that's, I'm really grateful for that. Mm -hmm. So I never really had to think about it before, but then I went through a time when the media was portraying me in a way that was completely not who I was. I'd spent 25 years building a brand and inspiring women, and then one person comes out and says one thing and the media just want to go with it, you right. know? It broke my heart. I felt like I couldn't even speak about it, which was probably one of my mistakes because I just hid in a little hole. Right. And I and I lost my self-confidence and I just didn't want to say anything because I thought, yeah, well, they'll throw this around and turn it into something else as well. So I had to find it and they were the difficult stories that I've, sh that I've shared in the book because I think people need to understand that I've been through it too and mm -hmm. I learned so much. I mean, there's so many books out there that say, love yourself, find your purpose, you know, be yourself and all that mm -hmm. sort of thing, but no one really gives you the tools to do it mm -hmm. and I feel like I've lived it. Yeah. really raw and um, and I feel like I can show people and I want to show people if I can help one woman get her self-confidence back or find it in the first place mm -hmm. and feel good about herself mm -hmm. when she hasn't felt like that before my job will be done because I think too we we think you know you're Lorna Jane or I'm Jules like we are not void of feeling <laughs> terrible days or oh. getting our feelings hurt mm. like someone says something nasty about you in the media which does happen for mm. sure you're still a person yeah. and you still have feelings and like you said it broke your heart it no one is void of of feeling a bit terrible and for me like if i thought that you said something awful about me mm -hmm. i would go around and see you or I would ring you up if I didn't, couldn't go and see you. And I would, I'm that person who has to fix things straight away. Right. So I would say, hey, someone told me this, that you said it, hey, you know, and we'd have a chat about it, we'd agree to disagree, or we'd sort it out, we'd hug, mm -hmm. say, oh, how mm -hmm. silly is this? So for me, in the media, because you can't do that, mm -hmm. it's just terrific. It just goes out there and then social media carries on with it and you just feel like you can't defend yourself. Right. So what I learned through that is that the only way to fight negativity is to just continue being yourself. Mm -hmm. Be yourself and prove them wrong. Mm -hmm. Because how could what people are saying about me be right when I've spent 25 years doing the complete opposite? Mm -hmm. Did mm. you ever get to confront the person? No. Um, gosh, there was more than one person. <laughs> I don't know where it started. <laughs> um, no, I didn't. But um, I feel like it, it's... People know it's not true now. It's mm -hmm. been proven. Yeah, things have gone through the court system and all that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And um, so, but I, I, I've just learned, and I want the message to be like: Why do we, as a society, and I was guilty of it? Why do we, as a society, want to feel or know or hear bad things about other people? Like, when is the last time someone said, "Hey, did you know Jules looks amazing"? No, they want to tell you that you've cut your hair and it looks terrible. Yeah, you know, yeah. like it's just like, yeah. yeah. Why don't we? Say nice Build things up. about people. It could yeah. really, really change the world. Yeah. I'd like to take over the news and have the last five minutes and just make it positive. I would love you to do oh, that too. We could do it together. Seriously. Yeah, you know, just let's uplift people. Mm -hmm. Like it's tough out there for everybody right now, mm -hmm. you know. The cost of living is really high and, and people are finding it hard to, to make ends meet. Like why just feed them negative press all the time? Mm. I think they think that people are going to feel bad good about themselves because I think people have it worse. Yeah. But I think it would be the opposite. We need some uplifting in you. You have a lot of attention on you. You have a lot of women especially looking up to you. Do you feel the pressure of that or do you just get on with it? Um, I think it's a really amazing time in history. Like I feel like in the past we would have felt like that. Mm. But I think what people really want to see now is the real you yeah. and they want to know about your difficult times and I want to celebrate that because I think that's what we should show people yeah. and that's what we should be talking about you yeah. know so this whole idea of celebrity no matter how much of a celebrity you are I feel like it's changing and and, and for in a, in a good way I think that um, 
I live in Brisbane. Like seriously, there's, there's no paparazzi in Brisbane. It's great. So that helps, you know. Yeah. And then I go to LA half the time. I'm there like a third of the year and I'm just getting known there. So I, I'm, I don't suffer with it a lot. I think if I lived in Sydney, it might be a little bit different. Mm -hmm. um, but I do feel personally, from my personal experience, that I can just be myself. I authentically live active living every single day. Like yeah. no one's going to see me, you know, doing something outside of that because, and if I am, well, then I'm having a cheat day. You know, that's just mm -hmm. how it is. When you're yourself and not trying to be someone else, then you don't have to worry about that stuff. Oh my gosh, you've summed it up mm. perfectly. Mm. That is the perfect way to, to look at it. Yeah. If you're being yourself, you don't have to worry about no. anything else. It's so true. Mm. It's so, so true. From all of your experience and all of the people you've met, what would you say women really want? They want to be loved. Mm. They want to be appreciated. They want to be heard. Yeah. I just feel like we, none of us want to try hard to be super slim or or try hard to put on weight or try hard to look super gorgeous all the time. None of us want that. We want to be accepted for who we are and love for who we are. Mm. I think that is what we want. Yeah. I know that's what I want. Yeah. Is that what you want? Yeah, mm. absolutely. And I want to look pretty anyway. And I want to stay in shape because it feels amazing. Yeah. Not because I need to fit into a swimsuit or I'm going to a pool party and I want to look prettier than the next girl. Mm -hmm. You know, I think... We're changing. Women are starting to actually actively support other women, which is mm. amazing. Yeah. Like so just by like teaching or sharing or helping another woman doesn't take away from you. Yeah. So true. Mm. Do you have a spiritual practice or like a ritual meditation or praying or something that kind of connects you back to your spirit? I do meditate every day. I'm not like a 20 minute can sit there. It's just not in my personality to sit there for 20 or 30 minutes. Um, so it's usually five or 10 minutes in the morning and at night, but I have a whole lot of rituals. Like I, my mornings are the same all the time. You know, I get up, I have hot lemon, I meditate, I work out and then I check my emails and then I go to work. Like I, I'm a very ritualistic person. I walk my dog every morning and every night. I think work-life balance is about having priorities and having rituals that make you feel yourself all the time. So when I travel, I get a little bit off balance and you know, like it's just, I have a lot of them. Yeah. Some may call it boring. <laughs> <laughs> just repetitive, same thing yeah, every time. Yeah, but yeah. But yoga and meditation really does bring me back to self mm -hmm. and makes me more grateful. Yeah. About where I am in my life, even if I'm, I'm trying to do something new and it's really challenging and it's getting harder, it always brings me back and makes me feel good about where I am right now. So I think that meditation and yoga is a big thing for me. Yeah. What matters to you the most? That I make a difference. Oh, I love that. Yeah. And that's not just with my work, that's in everything. You know, I, in this room today, I want everyone to feel happier because I was here. You know, and it just, I, just, I just want to make a difference. I want to have an impact. And I hope that's not ego <laughs> because some people might think of that, but I just want to make a difference with everybody. You know, I want my mum to be happy till the last day of her life. You know, I want to help my family. I just, yeah, maybe that's a female thing. We want people to be happy and, yeah. you know, but I just want to make a difference. I want people to say without being, you know, morbid or anything that she made a difference. Her time on the planet meant something. I mm. love that. Mm. People often say to me, why do you keep doing this? You're successful. Why do you work every day? I love to work mm. and I feel like I'm making a difference. So um, what am I going to do? Watch TV. There's only so many cocktails and beaches you can sit on. Yeah. Mm. I love that. And that's why people love you. Oh, Because, you. yeah, you are and you are doing that. You are doing that. You're making a difference for sure. Mm. So know that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what, what is, this is two-pronged question, what's one thing? you would change about yourself if you could? I talk over people. Do you? You're talking to me and I'm ready to answer and talk to right. you and I really, I'm very, very restrained. Mm -hmm. I would really love to change that. I'm listening. It's not that I don't listen to people, but I talk over them. Okay. I'm in the phase where I'm aware, mm -hmm. but it's a work in progress. Did someone tell you that or did you realise that for yourself? I realised it for myself. Did you see yourself on something or was it like... I'm... No, I can feel it. Right. It's like a compulsion. It's like this evil Lorna inside <laughs> me just wanting to... Like, she just wants attention. I don't know what it is, but I'm working on it. That's a good one. Mm. Um, okay, and the other prong to this question is what is something you would never change about yourself? 
where I've come from and what I've done. Like I'm not good, bad, ugly, misconceived, amazing, not so amazing. Your life is a journey and I just feel that everything happens for you, not to you. And I just wouldn't change anything in my life. Even the really tough stuff, I wouldn't be the person I am today if I hadn't had to live through or celebrate some of those things. I'm just going to ask everyone this now to the, till the day I die because somebody asked me this last week and it just sucker punched me. Oh, um, great. I'm waiting for the sucker punch. The sucker punch. <laughs> it's such an interesting question because um, normally we say, what would you say to your 15-year-old self? Mm-hmm. The question is, what would your 15-year-old self say to your current self? Oh my God, I didn't think you could do this. <laughs> yeah. It's funny because in my book, I talk about writing a letter to yourself mm-hmm. and I do it every year mm-hmm. and it's just about being grateful and talking about the good, the bad and why and how you overcame it or celebrated it and it, it's something that I do and it's great. I actually encourage people to do it in the book, but I also have written one to myself in there. So that'll give you some insights. My grandmother asked my sister and I a question. We were a bit younger than 15. And my sister's like 18 months older than me. And she said, what do you want to do when you grow up? And I said, so embarrassing. I said, I'm going to be rich and famous. And my sister, and she goes, Julie, what would you like um, to do? when you grow up and she goes, well, I don't have to do anything because Lorna's going to be rich and famous and she'll look after me. (laughs) So now I look back on that and think there's no way I want to be rich and famous. I don't know where that came from and I only know that because I can't remember it. My grandmother shared that with me because that would be if you said, if you could do this job and not be famous and people see you, would you prefer it? I'd probably say yes. When I put Lorna Jane on the brand, I was thinking... Well, I'm going to put my name on it because that will make me proud of what I'm doing and make me do the very best quality all of the time. You know, I'm going to sign it off with my name. And it's like a signature. The original logo is like a signature. But I thought I was just going to be making it for my friends Mm -hmm. and maybe some people at the gym. And I just didn't for a million years imagine that Mm -hmm. this was going to happen, you know. What has been the most surprising thing about your career life? What's something you think... Hmm. I just n- never thought that would happen. I just wanted to make activewear for myself. Mm. So it, it surprised me all along. Like I, I say this to people who say, well, how do I start my business and how do I? You know, I think don't start with the big plan. Like start with just what you want to do. Yeah. Just find something that you want to wake up and do every day. So the surprising thing is that I'm here today with this global business. The whole thing is a surprise to me. Like I just couldn't imagine, could never have imagined You know, I wanted people to wear active wear everywhere and I wanted to make active wear that people would get excited about wearing, but I didn't think it would then turn into a way of life. Yeah. You know, I didn't think it would be so embraced and that there would be so many other brands doing it. I didn't um, think that we would ever be global. I didn't think that anyone would want to hear what I had to say about health and fitness. My goodness. Like, all I have is my experience that people want to hear about it. So it's, it's been amazing. And by the way, this tea is amazing. Isn't it? It's really yeah. nice. It's yeah. got a little bit of a kick in it. Yeah. It's so good. Mm. Thank you for bringing the tea. <laughs> and thank you for coming. I, I'm so, I'm blown away you're here. I really am. And so insightful and such wisdom. I've learned some things about myself. Oh, so thank you. I'm so glad. Those questions are amazing. Oh, good. Yes. I'm really glad. Mm. And thank you for this book. I cannot wait to read it. I think it's such a powerful, strong message that you're putting into the world on loving ourselves. Thank you. And thanks for sharing your stories. Thank you.